from the number one station, you come to the power version. Hello, and welcome to the Yogcast preview of Ice Crown Citadel, where we have once again stolen a whole load of pictures and videos from other people and edited them together in this video for your enjoyment. I'm Zephos, and I'm Honeydew. Right, so let's get started. Okay, this is the first boss of the instance, Lord Marogar. He is pretty much on the entryway when you come in, you know, he's the first the guy. Foyer. The reception area. I'm sorry, but Mr. Arthur's is busy at the moment. Could you try again <laughs> later? Uh, so, what is it? Like a, a skeletal budgie? It's, well, something. it's always very, very difficult to see bosses that you fight because you only really ever look at the bottom half of their model, when, especially if you're melee DPS like me. And in this case, this boss actually doesn't have a bottom half of a model. He Brilliant. floats. Like so you're just looking at. You're looking at his hitbox, that's it, nothing else. You're, pr <laughs> you're pretty much just meleeing at the air. And then he puts out these ice lines. Quite pretty. And then he does a spinny those, roundy um... blade storm thing. Um, next is Lady Death Whisper. That's a lady? God. She looks a bit like a lich. Well, again, it's quite difficult like to see from lit. the video. <laughs> uh, God, they always have so many fucking add ons, the people who. The pro people who raid from PTRs. Yeah. They have like a million add-ons. If I was playing on a PTR, surely like all your add-ons would break immediately. Because that's what happens when a patch comes. All of your add-ons break. So how do they get all of all of these like these thousands of add-ons working on the PTR? They probably program them. The raiders. They're like so pro. And just like, oh let me just fix this add-on. There we go, done. <laughs> Everybody uh, download it from uh, www.imamassivenerd.com <laughs> forward slash lol ruffle bucket. <laughs> it's true. Oh, you know. You know it. Next is the uh, gunship battle. Oh okay. my god. So are these the same ships that you do all those quests on? Uh, I don't know. I don't recognise. Oh, there's the Alliance this one. one. With the, the big eagle. So fuck. You actually attack each other on the. Oh my god! Faction, a bit like faction champion. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that is so quite cool. a good idea. And you can what you can do is like you can do like a pirate sort of style borders thing, and you can like grapple onto the other one and oh. send people over to like fight. Uh, next, we've got Deathbringer Sourfang. Um, he's the guy that that I don't really understand Horde because obviously we don't play Horde, but I think he's the guy that was the equivalent to High Lord. Bolvar Four Dragon, and he got killed at the um, oh, Wrath Game no. at the same time. Um, except he didn't like get a cutscene. I don't. And think he got turned into a Death him. Knight. So you, f I reckon you fight whoever your faction guy is that died. So if you're Alliance, well, no, it doesn't look like it though. If you're Alliance, the Deathbringer is Bolvar. The Deathbringer, Bolvar or Sourfang. No, no, no. I don't think it is Bolvar. Deathbringer. Uh, Maybe we need to say the names in a certain way. Festergut! What the fuck is that? It looks like Chucky. It's a terrifying looking abomination thing. Oh, that's horrible. It releases brown gas all over the room. Ew. Which is quite weird. Rot face! Isn't that the same model? They're like brothers. Are they? Yeah, why are oh. they like... Well, no, they're not, but they look the same. I mean, surely if you're making an abomination, it's got to be difficult to make two that look exactly the same. Well, maybe he took, like, the right leg of a bear and the left leg of a bear, and he used the right one for the right leg of boss A, and then he used the other leg for boss 2. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that, does that make any sense at all? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good, good, that's fine. But in that case, then the bosses should be like mirror images of each other. Yeah. Ah. But they're not. They're the same model, but the middle bit of one is slightly browner. That's right. GG Blizz, well done. Good to see the art teams on top of things. <laughs> Next. It's Professor Putrescide! Just an ordinary looking forsaken yeah. big. Just an ordinary looking undead guy. You have to turn valves, 
Peep comes out again. He's got like a, a table of potions and stuff, and sometimes he just drinks all of the potions on the table and goes mad. And you have to. Does do he turn things. into like the Incredible Hulk? Like Not he sure turns green and he, he grows to a huge. Oh, wait, that's already happened to him. What do you mean? He's large and green already. So if he takes some potion and he turns into the Incredible Hulk, maybe. Maybe he'd just turn into a normal man. He'd shrink. And he'd go all pink. And he'd go, oh, hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. How's it going? I don't, I don't quite know what happened. Uh, I, I just took a sip of uh, some of this slime water and um, something very strange happened and I can't slime remember. Water. Yeah, I see, uh, the slime water. Mm. I ran out of tonic for my gin. So I used uh, used slime water instead. I, c I thought it was lime water. <laughs> I, uh... Oh God! What do you mean? Blood Prince Council. <gasps> How do you get on the council? Do they vote them in? God, I don't know. Is one of them the chairman? What they have like meetings and stuff. Like under any other business, it'll say, you know, 25 people came in, they stirred up some shit. We executed them on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's wife brought in a, a lovely marmalade cake. Yeah. We all enjoyed a slice. <laughs> Next is Queen Lanathel. I think she's a little bit like um... Queen Latifah. No. It's a bit arrogant of Queen Latifah to call herself Queen. So there is only one Queen, and that's the Queen of England and the Commonwealth. Absolutely. Queen Elizabeth II. And she's joined us here tonight! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Has she? <laughs> Hello! Hello there, your high Royal Highness. <laughs> How are you doing? Hello, Lewis. Are you one. enjoying this presentation? What the don't interrupt one! Pack. Hello! One who's Sorry, most I... impressed! Can you stop fucking talking over me, you little <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh god! She's gone. Sorry, I. She's gone, Lewis. She stormed out of the room. I beg your forgiveness, Your Royal Highness. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> The Lithuania <laughs> Dreamwalker. Oh, yeah, I should have. I don't really know how to pronounce. Uh, whoa, Green Dragon. So basically, this is a fight where she's like wounded, and the idea is that you have to heal her up to to 100. percent Oh, so you you just target her and heal over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, but you have to contend with ads as well. I'm not quite sure how the fight works, <laughs> because I think they obviously have a lot of ads coming and you have to sort of... You can't just stack a load of healers. Can you bandage her? <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. You probably can. Lay on hands. They'll probably bring times. out a new bandage with this patch. Really, really big bandage. Dragon mm. bandage. Can you see those doors spazzing out? Why are those doors, like, spazzing out? <laughs> this is little odd. Sindragosa! Login screen dragon! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is basically the uh, Saffron version 2. Arthur! Um, I wonder what happens when you kill him. What happens to Frostmourne? Does it just miraculously turn into a two handed axe? No, 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 no. You know, the, the lore is that it corrupts anyone who touches it, so. I guess they have to put it somewhere safe. Maybe they'll say, you know, oh, you must harness the power of Frostmorn, but do it in such a way that won't curse you. This means that you have to kill all of these bosses, dip the blade in their blood, and then kill a thousand people. It's the only safe way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see any side effects coming or arising from really? this in no. any way. What could possibly go wrong? Zephos! Honeydew! For more chat and discussion about Ice Crown Citadel, subscribe to our podcast. Oh yeah, it looks like a dragon. What's going on with the doors? The doors are spazzing out a bit.